Electric cars are becoming very popular these days. There are several reasons for a lot of people are continuing showing interest in these vehicles, because they create less pollution than gasoline-powered or petrol cars, so they are environmental friendly, especially in cities. Vehicles powered by fuel cells are electric cars, and fuel cells are getting a lot of attention right now. An electric car is a car powered by an electric motor, rather than a petrol engine. From the looking outside, you would probably have no idea that a car is electric. In most cases, electric cars are made by converting a gasoline-powered car, and in that case it's impossible to tell. When you often drive an electric car, the only thing that strikes you with its true nature is that, it is almost silent. So today, in this video, we'll discuss about how an electric vehicle works, along with its parts and functions. Electric vehicles also known as EVs, do not require IC engines to operate. It is powered by an electric motor, instead of a gas-powered engine. The electric motor gets energy from a controller, which regulates the amount of power, based on the driver's use of an accelerator pedal. The electric car, uses energy stored in its rechargeable batteries, which are recharged by common household electricity. EVs move along our roadways without burning up fuel or producing harmful exhaust emissions while generating less noise pollution. Electric vehicles are like an automatic car. They have a forward and reverse mode. When you place the vehicle in gear and press on the accelerator pedal, these things happen. Power is converted from the DC battery to AC, for the electric motor. The accelerator pedal, sends a signal to the controller, which adjusts the vehicle speed, by changing the frequency of the AC power from the inverter to the motor. The motor connects and turns the wheels through a cog. When the brakes are pressed, or the car is decelerating, the motor becomes an alternator, and produces power, which is sent back to the battery. Powering an electric vehicle, AC versus DC. First things first, if you want to understand how an electric car motor works, you need to know the difference between AC and DC. Electricity moves through a conductor in two ways. AC stands for alternating current. It is described as electric current, in which the electrons periodically change direction at a determined frequency, like the pendulum on a clock. DC stands for direct current, as its name suggests, the electrons flows in single direction, from positive to negative. The battery in an electric car functions using direct current. But when it comes to the main motor of the electric vehicle, which provides traction to the vehicle, this DC energy must be transformed into AC by an inverter. If you want to understand how an electric vehicle works, you need to be familiar with the physical elements of electric motor. And it starts with understanding the principles of its two major parts, the stator and the rotor. An electric car motor works using a physical process. This consists of using a current to create a magnetic field at the fixed part of the machine, called as the stator, whose displacement sets a rotating part, called as the rotor, the difference between the two is easy to remember, the stator is static, while the rotor rotates. In a motor, the stator uses energy to create a magnetic field that then turns the rotor. What's the difference between an engine and a motor? A motor refers to a machine that convert energy into mechanical energy, while an engine does the same thing, but specifically using thermal energy. When talking about converting thermal energy into mechanical energy, it means combustion not electric. In other words, an engine is a type of motor. But a motor is not necessarily an engine. With electric vehicles, because the mechanical energy is created from electricity, we use the word motor to describe the device that makes the electric vehicle move. And even if you've never driven an electric car, 
it's still relatively simple to wrap your head around its main parts. For example, instead of a gas tank, they have batteries. Instead of an engine, they have an electric motor. And instead of a tailpipe, well, they've got no tailpipe. Simple, right? But there are few other parts that an EV owner should understand. Traction battery pack. Power inverter. Electric traction motor. Power electronics controller. Battery. Charge port. DC-DC converter. Charger. And transmission. Traction battery pack. The function of the battery in an electric car is as an electrical energy storage system in the form of direct current electricity. If it gets a signal from the controller, the battery will transmit DC electrical energy to the inverter and then used to drive the motor. The type of battery used is a rechargeable battery, arranged in such a way that it is called traction battery pack. Power inverter. The inverter functions to change the direct current on the battery into an alternating current and then this alternating current is used by an electric motor. In addition, the inverter on an electric car also has a function to change the AC current when regenerative braking to DC current and then used to recharge the battery. The type of inverter used in some electric car models is the bidirectional inverter category. Electric traction motor. The electric traction motors will work turning the transmission and wheels, using power from the traction battery pack. Some vehicles use motor generators that perform both the drive and regeneration functions. In general, the type of electric motor used is the brushless DC motor. A controller unit is an inverter and converter combination that recharges the battery pack of an electric vehicle during regenerative braking, which develops kinetic energy. The flow of energy from the battery is controlled using a controller unit in tandem with the converter and inverter combinations. The DC motor controller system is still used today on some electric vehicles to keep the cost down. However, with the advent of better and less expensive electronics, many of today's electric vehicles are using AC motor controller systems because of their improved motor efficiency and lighter weight. In an electric drive vehicle, the auxiliary battery provides electricity to power vehicle accessories. The charge port allows the vehicle to connect to an external power supply in order to charge the traction battery pack. This device converts higher voltage DC power from the traction battery pack to the lower voltage DC power needed to run vehicle accessories and recharge the auxiliary battery. Charger is a battery charging device.